So guys, Microsoft launched Windows 11 new feature update. Currently, it is available in release preview channel. I already made a video on that, like how you can download and install. In this video, I'm going to cover all features, what is coming new and how you can use them. Okay, so first thing they improved like widgets on taskbar. So whenever you hover on it and you can see the little animation on your widgets icon. As you can see, it totally depends upon your icon, right? Like, uh, let me change the weather here. So as you can see, I change the weather and you can see the animation of this icon. This looks cool, right? Second feature is also related to taskbar. Go to taskbar setting. Just go to taskbar behavior. And now you will see option like show seconds in system tray clock. So this will use more power. If you have laptop, I would not recommend to do this. But if you have PC, you can just set it. Depends upon you, you want this feature or not. Another thing is also related to taskbar. Like they added a touch keyboard here. So when no keyboard is attached this will not show and always then you can see here this touch keyboard so just set it like when no keyboard attached so it will automatically popped up here click here always and you can see like this another feature is also related to taskbar like uh, whenever you connect your vpn so you will see here shield icon on your connection right in image you can see here and they also adding the widget improvement like uh, you can just uh, click on add widget so you will get here this kind of view you can just preview how this is going to look on your system Another feature they added in Windows setting in update section. So as you can see, get the latest update as soon as they are available. So whenever you turn it on, so as you can see, be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes and improvements as they are rolled out. Whenever you turn it on, you will get these updates early, right? They also updating the notification like whenever you get here two-factor authentication code in your uh, mail, you will get the notification and you can copy that code from notification itself. So this is a good improvement. Another update they are adding bing icon in the search you will see here bing icon in search so you can directly click on that and you will directly navigate to microsoft edge bing another feature they added like uh, this update adds live caption to following language so these languages are added here if you are using live caption another thing they updated the voice access command page so you can just open this voice access this improved a lot more and uh, some other languages also added so just go to here help and view all commands so you can see here like uh, what you need to ask and how to use it so like uh, voice access is wake up so basically you need to learn how to use it so all the commands here so you can learn it from here if you are using it another update related to your file explorer so like you open your file explorer you can click here menu key it will show you context menu and the corresponding letter can open that setting right so like i can press v to it will navigate to this and if i press x so it will set my icon to large so just press x so it set my icon to large so this is a great improvement in file explorer so another update is like they the search experience of windows setting you can search very fast in windows setting another feature they adding is like if you have usb4 devices so you can see the complete setting page for that so this page will help you to troubleshoot if you have any problem with your usb4 devices so this update adds a present sensor privacy settings in settings going to privacy security and present sensing if you have a device that is compatible with present sensors you can now choose the app that can access these sensors and you can also choose the apps that do not have access and this update contains so many many buff fixes and improvement as you can see lots of problems fixed and improved here so i'm not going to read each and every point so this is just time based so basically what you need to do is just go and update your system and that's it so okay guys these are the some features and improvement in this update i hope you liked it so just like the video and go and install it